Hey, my cyber babies, and welcome to our YouTube channel. This lovely lady is Crystal Emery. She is the founder and CEO of You Are You, and also the documentary filmmaker of a documentary called, that's Oscar worthy, Oscar eligible, we shall say, called uh, Black Women in Medicine. And she's written a book called Changing the Face of Medicine. Thank you for joining me and staying with me. You are such a trooper. Uh, so are you, oh, Look, we, we got to do what we got to do, girl. We ain't, we ain't got time to be sitting around trying to wait on somebody to feed us. I'm like, ah, oh, what is wrong with y'all? And that's a, the, another thing about being a woman in business. What keeps you motivated to be out here, and especially with your special needs? I think that what keeps me motivated is that I wake up every day doing something I really love. Mm -hmm. Like I wake up every day of my life knowing that I get the opportunity to create. And sometimes creating is not about getting it published or getting it made. It's about the creating with your spirit. Mm -hmm. And getting it out because you got to get it out so you can get some, as my grandson would say, so you can get some new L stuff in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it is, um, and then I'm a mental person. Mm -hmm. You know, I like being able to look at the different pieces and put them together. Mm -hmm. And even within that, there is a creative energy. How do you wear the, the, the multiple hats from writing and creating to directing? Because that's, that's a whole discipline all by itself, directing. You know what, I, I believe in order to be a director, a producer, a good one, uh -huh. like this, <laughs> you're born with those talents. Mm -hmm. Not everyone can do that, and I was born with that set mm -hmm. of talents. You have to love taking something from concept mm -hmm. to finish. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have great concepts, have great vision, but they don't want to do the hard no. work to get to the other side. I, and this is what I don't understand. They, they, and I believe that show business should be what people think it is. All beautiful flowers, kisses, and love. No. It is not that. This is a down, dirty, ugly business. It's about feast or famine. You either doing really, really well or you starving to death with two pieces of dust to rub together. And then you got to look like everything is okay. I'm telling them all the time, look, I'm the broke star. I got grandchildren, I got sisters and brothers and nieces and nephews, and they pimp me on a regular basis. How do you keep your family out of your pocket? Because I ain't got nothing in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have to worry. No, when I could walk, you know, I helped several of my nieces and nephews through school. Mm -hmm. But the good thing about my family is they're very supportive. I mean, my younger brother, you know, loaned me a few thousand dollars to make this trip mm -hmm. possible. And so I think that you have to set boundaries for people. And you have to understand that you can't save everybody. No. And when I understood that I wasn't my family's savior, it was real simple. You know, mm -hmm. um, I'm a great giver. But what I've learned is that you cannot give everything to everybody. You have to save something for yourself. And uh, now this trip, 3,000 miles. And you guys drove from the kinetic. Yeah, we drove. I got to go home and, like, you know, recuperate and restore energy. Now, how long have you been in Los Angeles? We have been here. Today is our seventh day. And... Um, you know, I used to work here every winter mm -hmm. when I could walk, and then I went back home in 1991 to get married, and the following year, my dad got sick, so I just stayed on the East Coast. Okay. Uh, now, do you have children? I have 46 nieces and nephews. <laughs> and so, that just wore me out. Yeah. 46? <laughs> So I have children. Oh, yes, you do. Uh, and they probably love Aunt Crystal. So what kind of feedback are you getting from the documentary Black Women in Medicine? It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. I it doesn't matter if it's young, brown, boys and girls. Uh, they're like, wow, 
you know, I always wanted to be a doctor, but I didn't tell anybody, you know, mm -hmm. or I could see myself up there. It could be older white male policymakers mm -hmm. who say, I never realized the struggle was like that for black women doctors. And because they don't live in our world on that level, why would we expect them to have insights? That's why we have to tell our yes. stories. That's why I'm so grateful that you have the vision, you and your team have the vision to tell the stories, to put them out there because nobody's ever gonna, what the, what the guy say, Superman is not coming for us. Superman is not coming for us people. So we gotta be Superman and Superwoman. And I got a Superwoman sitting right here in the studio in Crystal Emery. And we'll be back.